Brian Captain, editor of The Banker. Uh, we're reviewing the top 1,000 results and we're looking at Africa this morning. Uh, I'm with Paul Wallace, the Africa editor. And Paul, um, give us a little bit of a snapshot as how the African banks did in, the, in this year's top 1,000 ranking. Thanks, Brian. Well, and uh, one of the most notable things was um, how badly South African banks did. They remained the biggest on the continent and the most profitable on the continent by uh, some way. But Pretty much all of the big uh, South African lenders, apart from First Rand, actually saw their T1 uh, dollar-denominated capital drop. Right. Now, you said dollar-denominated then. Does, yes. Is, 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 that, is that the clue, really? I mean, was it the South African banks actually underperformed, or was it much more a currency effect? Because, obviously, we deal with the top 1,000 totally in dollars. Yes. In Rand terms, their, their T1 capital did grow, but not by that much. And so it reflects not only a weakening currency, but also... Um, also, the fact that South Africa's economy is in a is in a weak state at the moment. Okay, um, but overall, I mean, uh, African banks have actually done rather well in return on capital terms. So tell us a little bit about that. Yes, uh, so, um, Africa is the most profitable uh, region in the world in terms of both return on assets and return on capital. The average return on capital for the continent uh, was twenty four percent, which is very high. And in fact. Of the 31 African banks that made the top 1,000, there was only one loss-making institution, which was um, South Africa's African Bank Investments. So um, the, the general picture was, is, is actually quite rosy for Africa. All right. Of course, Africa is a huge continent, so we've talked about South Africa. Tell us a little bit about Nigeria and uh, you know, how, how the banks are progressing there. We've seen a lot of changes in Nigeria recently. And Nigeria's mm. banks continue to rise up the rankings, not that quickly and um, they're not making huge strides uh, as it were but they're sort of moving you know 10 places in the top 1000 and that type of thing um, but there's a sort of a long-term growth story and they're facing some headwinds at the moment various regulatory changes in Nigeria that are putting pressure on their uh, revenues and, um, uh, and profits at the moment but um, if you look sort of five years ahead it's 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 very likely that they will uh, continue to get bigger, uh, bigger and bigger and move up the rankings and close that gap between themselves and South Africa. That gap okay. still being very large at the moment. Paul, thanks very much for sharing our view on Africa from the top 1,000. Thanks, Brian.